Well, glory be to God. Another great day, great time to hear the word of God and to share the time together with you. I'm forever grateful to God for you. And I pray that, that God will continue to strengthen you and guide you as you live for him. That your life will be an open book. That as many people see you, they can read and see the goodness of God through your behavior and through your character. And therefore, I believe today the word of God will help shape that in your life and be able to transform you. I'd like to encourage you today from the book of Proverbs chapter number 18 and verses 19. Proverbs chapter number 18 and verses 19. And it says, a brother offended is harder to win than a strong city. And contentions are like the bars of a castle. Now here the author was writing that if there is a brother who is offended or even a sister who is offended, it is harder to win them than a strong city. Now you've got to understand that in the old days, the cities were fortified and they had walls around them. And so if they had other kings who are going to come and take over the city, they will be able to tear down the walls and get into that city and be able to conquer it. This happened in the city of Jericho where Joshua marched around it seven times and they were able to conquer that city. And so here the author is telling us that a brother who is offended is harder to win than a city. As much as those cities were, the kings were able to penetrate through. We are being told offense is tougher and stronger than a fortified city. Which means you and I should not allow offense to come near us. Because when it comes near us, we are closed and shut to being one to be able to live a life that will be a blessing to many. God wants our lives to be a blessing to many people. But offense will keep you away from people. Offense will keep you away from doing things that God has called you to do. And therefore, we are reminded this morning that don't allow offense to be a fort around you. Because once offense comes as a fort around you, then there is nobody who can reach out to you. There is nobody who can be able to relate to you. And there is nobody who can be able to persuade you. And so we are told that Offense is tougher than a fortified city. Today, we can say that offended, anyone who is offended is tougher than a well, a well-organized country that has got a good military system. United States have got a good military system. And in as much as the United States is well prepared military-wise, we can say that the Bible says if you are offended, it will be tough to be able to relate to you or reach out to you than to reach out to United States that have got all these weapons. Which means there is no place for reasoning with you. And therefore, Jesus says it is impossible for offense not to come. But we cannot afford to receive offense in our lives. Because if we receive offense in our lives, it is keeping us away from people. And then he goes on to say this. And contentions are like the bars of a castle, which means when you are offended, now you are having contentions with somebody else. And when you are having contentions with somebody else, you've got to understand that actually bars are like rods that have been kept that you cannot go through a specific opening. We see those on windows sometimes that, you know, there are windows that someone can go through, but bars have been set over there that nobody can go through. We see them in gates. Gates have got bars that you cannot go through because those bars hinder you from going through. So we are being told that contentions are like bars of a castle, which means the castle looks beautiful, but you cannot go through because there are bars that are hindering you from going through. So if you are offended, you are having contentions, and when you are having contentions, you look good, you look beautiful, or you look handsome, but nobody can reach to you because their contentions are like a bar. Someone looks at you and says, you know what, I'd rather not even say a word. Or I wanna, I'd rather not even do this because what I'm seeing is hindering me from reaching to the person. So today I'd like to encourage you, be a person who is not taking offense and be a person who is not holding on to contention. Let the Lord heal your heart. Let the Lord forgive you and forgive those who are offending you so that you can fulfill your purpose. You can be approachable and you can make a difference. Stay blessed and have a wonderful day.